Hey guys, Dave Palumbo here. We just got a huge two pallets worth of books. I'm gonna show you what these are when we get inside. You're gonna be super excited. They're finally here. I've been hawking them for, I can't tell you how many years. Bill Wellen's new book, the 11th edition of Anabolics. The everything you possibly need to know about anabolic steroids, growth hormone, IGF-1 insulin, peptides, anything you could possibly think of performance enhancing wise. Uh, this is the encyclopedia for it. It's not the book you sit down and read like a novel before bed. It's the, the reference book you put by your toilet bowl. When you're sitting on that toilet, you read a couple pages about this, a couple pages about that. Hey, I don't know what this clenbuterol stuff does. Let me go look it up in here. Bill has worked many, many years on perfecting this book. It is everything it's supposed to be. This is a must have book. If it wasn't, I wouldn't sell it. Bill, congratulations. I can't wait to start roving through my newest copy of Anabolics, the 11th edition. Guys, you know what? I want to show you um, my new trees I got, okay? When you're in Florida, buying trees is exciting because it's something that grows all year round as opposed to just in the summer months. So I've been looking at these royal palm trees all over Florida for so long now, and I'm my wife Amanda and I both like them and we're like we got to get some ones we, you can't buy the giant ones they're too much of a pain in the ass this one won't only get to 20 feet long or high I should say the ones over there which I'm going to show you in a minute will grow to 70 feet 70 feet come here let me show you what I got dragon fruit plant which had a beautiful flower and fruit on it before the hurricane dragon fruits like to climb up trellises so that's why we have this here. I actually need a bigger one. Uh, I don't even know what you call this plant but this plant has been growing tremendously. This is a bird of paradise flowers. It's, we don't have any blooming right now but they're beautiful flowers. They're the craziest flower. I've posted them before. My wife likes the purple that, that purple plant over there we got. It stays pretty small. That's my coconut palm that can get really really big. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take to grow because I think they're slightly slow growers. The, the storm almost took this thing out but it seems to be coming back. One of my favorite palm trees is the bottle palm. The bottom of it looks like almost like a big bottle, like a, like a rounded wine bottle. And the bigger they get, the chunkier that, that thing gets as well. Uh, but here's the one of the, the palm trees that I, I absolutely love that we just got. This is the classic full-sized royal palm tree right here. This will grow to 70 feet. It'll probably take my whole life to do that. But, no, no, this is, this, excuse me, this is my foxtail. Foxtail. Foxtail palm. You see how it looks like the leaves are ripped here? They're not. That's, that's the way they look. It's like a shit. It's like that's the look of the tree. You know, I might know a lot about nutrition, but I still don't know that much about palm trees. So this is the royal palm. And you can tell the bottom doesn't even have that, like, brown look to it yet because it's, it's still pretty new. This thing will can grow to 70 feet tall. This will be a very big tree, very impressive tree, hopefully, at some point in the future. And I got three of these royal palm ones, the full size ones. We got the one pygmy one, which is not such a pygmy, it still grows to 20 feet. And I just think that they're awesome. You know, I, I think that, you know, if you live in Florida, you want to have palm trees. Now, I, I hate these evergreen trees that I have here. They've probably been here for 100 years. Yeah, why do you but they remind me of being in New York, you know, because uh -huh. that's we have evergreens up there. So, I, you know, I, I want more palm trees. So we'll probably be taking down some, like this tree here is. is is falling. I don't know. He's got a bad back. It looks like my father's back, like a hunchback or something like that. So I can go on forever, but I will give you a very brief update of what we've done as far as trees go. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Uh, first thing I, I see sitting on the floor, very important supplement, kidney stuff. For those of you out there who have uh, maybe have some toxic, you know, organs in your body, you want to flush those kidneys. Maybe your BUN creatinine levels on your blood work is a little high. These. This product will, you do it twice a day, scoop, there's a scooper in there, and what it'll do is it'll open up the kidney tubules, the filtering apparatus. So the blood flow to these filters will increase so you can filter your blood better and it will lower your creatinine and BUN values. This works, you know, really well. If you have very, I know guys that have had like, you know, such high levels of creatinine that they actually were on in verge of kidney failure. They used this product and it really brought it down a lot. So this is something great you, you can purchase at DavePlumbo.com. One of my favorite new, new products, or relatively new products, my Santa Via Alkalinized Water Pitcher. So it's like a, you take your tap water, you, you pour it in here, it gets filtered, and it gets alkalinized. And as long as this water sits in here and touches this filter, it will stay alkalinized. So a lot of alkalinizing water filters 
the water doesn't stay alkalinized. This this does. It's relative. It's forty five dollars. Uh, each filter, each drop-in filter lasts 60 days. Uh, the pitcher will last forever, pretty much, as long as you clean it. You know, sometimes I've been uh, accused by my wife, Amanda, of neglect in, in the cleaning department, but uh, it still works. Exclusive retailer of the Chris Clark, you know, synthesize uh, pump and pose uh, site injection oils. So these are really very popular, big sellers. That's why we have a huge box of them here. Here's the advanced fuel test. And these will test any anabolic steroids you have to see if they're legitimate. This way you know what you got. If you're spending a lot of money and you don't even know where you're getting it from and it's not coming from a pharmacy, might be a great idea to test them with the Roy test kits. These are also available at DavePaloma.com. This is our new, relatively new Creolized product. This is our ultra micronized uh, creatine monohydrate product from Species Nutrition. I had a bunch sent here because a lot of people who come into my office like to purchase this from us. Once again, the advantage of the ultramicronization process is that it mixes and solubilizes water better. Most people mix their creatine and water, it falls to the bottom. Some of this will, but most of this goes in solution. So this is a much higher end product. This is an old oldie but goodie it's from 2003. Parabinal took that picture of me uh, at the prime of my career. This was about 268 pounds I was in this picture. Uh, the interesting uh, thing about this picture was I had gone out after the uh, USA Championships and I went to a couple nightclubs that night and in Vegas and I got in well at about five in the morning I realized I had a photo shoot at eight or at seven so I went to McDonald's I had uh, three egg McMuffins and some hash browns and I went to the photo shoot and this is what I got so something worked <laughs> see what else we got here oh this is an oldie but goodie the Dave Palumbo hardcore uh, seminar this is where I talk about my ketogenic diet it was filmed in Oklahoma Tulsa Oklahoma and I talk about some uh, performance enhancing drugs in there as well. Actually, the, the one and only Arthur L. Ray, who's no longer with us, may he rest in peace, was also in this seminar with me. It was a Q&A we did together. Uh, so this was, uh, I think people will find this really uh, useful. We sell a lot of these for people who want to understand how to work the diet, how to work the off-season diet. Also, questions answered about anabolic steroids in here. Very good seminar. So here's a good one. This is my Secrets to Becoming a Diet Guru, a course book. This is the 85-page manual you get with all my secrets in here, all my protocols. Uh, it basically is an outline of the course that I teach, which is a 10-hour class. We give it four times a year. The next one is uh, Saturday, December 2nd here in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, if you want to sign up for that, we're running out. The seats are selling out very quickly. You can sign up at DavePaloma.com. Oh, here's a real old video. Okay. This, Tyler, this might even be before you were born. This Probably. is my original video that I made with Matt Duvall back in 1997, The Reconstruction of a Bodybuilder. It's like a B-movie slash training video slash nutrition video. It's kind of cool. Matt and I dress up as Terminators and we're both pushing over 300 pounds in this video. There's actually some guest posing footage in the very beginning. I'm at like 320 pounds, my very biggest. And uh, I, when I watch the footage, I'm, I'm, I'm flabbergasted by it myself. So you guys might like this. We still have copies left and we sell this. Uh, this is what I call the vintage footage. What year was that? This was 1997. Oh, okay, I was born. You were born. <laughs> Tyler was born. This I was, was born. He's going on record. This is something I wrote when I got out of prison. Tyler probably doesn't even know I went to prison. I didn't know I'll that. I'm a good story about that. For Find it minutes. out on the footage. This was when I went to prison. I wrote this book, The Perfect Prison Physique. This is how to train in prison, but it's really about a hardcore how to train. It goes over um, exercise. This is one of the few videos that I've done where I actually show exercises of myself doing before and afters of all the exercises that I do. A lot of a lot of cable isolation movements for for arms. You know, basic movements, obviously for the for the big body parts. I have a lot of motivational quotes in this book. Jerry Beck drew this of Iron Sound drew this uh, picture for me. I told him, look, I want a bodybuilder breaking out of prison. Matter of fact, it's so good that sometimes when I send these to prisons, when people prisoners buy these for me. They, they won't let him in because they think it's like a, a book of how to escape from prison. <laughs> so, <laughs> and But there's, like I said, a lot of motivational quotes. I actually have original pictures in here by some of the prison inmates that I was stationed with. Stationed with. I don't know if that, that's if you're in the military. That's cool. If I was, uh, I should say, in prison with Rick Collins of Legal Muscle fame, who was my lawyer in this whole case, saved me a lot of time. He actually wrote the forewords. We still sell a lot of those. We still sell a lot of these back issues of RX Muscle, the original magazine that started it all. A lot of people don't know. They think it was a website. It was originally a magazine back in 2000. We put out five copies. We still have some back copies. We've sold most of them. This is the one with the, the late, great Art Atwood on the cover. You know, he's no longer with us either. But he brought Vitargo, believe it or not, to the U.S. So uh, we got to thank him for that. And he was a, a great guy. And there's some great hardcore articles in there. There's Nicole Bass. She's also the late, great Nicole Bass. 
and that's Steve Weinberger, who's obviously still runs the uh, NPC Northeast with Derek Panza, MMA fighter. This is when I think they were training for some kind of fighting or something like that. That's an oldie but goodie. I could probably stay in here all day because I got so many cool products in here. If you want to check them all out, they're available at DavePalumbo.com. Dave Palumbo back here uh, in the back of my house, outside my uh, my warehouse, and I got some great snakes. This is a clutch I just had uh, a few weeks ago. I'm doing a video right now for my Muscle Serpents University YouTube page, and this is one of my best clutches I've ever produced. As you can see, it looks like the colors of the rainbow here. This being my favorite, this is the, and you guys might not understand what all these morphs are, but I know some of you guys out there in bodybuilding world are, are snake collectors. That's a Super Enchi, Banana Orange Dream, Het Pied, male. This is probably the greatest snake I've ever produced. It's really? awesome. Love it. Tyler, even Tyler, my, uh, my camera guy, he's like, wow, that looks like a, a piece snake. of candy. That's a piece yeah. of candy. This one's another beautiful one here, too. This is not super enchi, but this is, um, this is butter, banana, enchi, yellow belly. So it's actually got more genes in this one, but this one is kind of, uh, they, both of these guys are A plus quality. Here's two females I have also. This is a, um, Oop, just got bit. This is a <laughs> Enchi Orange Dream head pied, and that one's a butter yellow belly uh, pied. And, and if you guys wanted to see something interesting, this is a no eyed snake. Can you imagine that? Look at that. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's going to live or not, but we'll see. I may have to assist feed it. So I'm not all bodybuilding, I'm into reptiles and snakes. I like to keep busy. As you can see, my backyard is, is a wildlife sanctuary, essentially. Uh, come over here. I want to show you guys uh, some of my, my garden. You saw it, palm trees in the beginning of the video. Well, look, here's my fig tree. Chris Decito would, would appreciate this. This is a real old Italian WAPO thing to do, grow figs. Of course, I also had to grow avocados. We have avocado trees over here. And my prized possession right here is I can't wait to eat these things so I can say I actually grew my own watermelons. How much better does it get than that? Watermelons, man, that's what, that's what happens when you live in Florida, man. You can do this kind of stuff, not in New York. I try to grow watermelons in New York, they were this big. So <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying a, a peek into my life as I've been giving you this past week. We're gonna do a lot more of this stuff. If you like what you're seeing, hit like, subscribe to the RX Muscle YouTube channel, and guess what? Tell me what you wanna see and I'll show you my life. I'm an open book.